Hi, welcome back to Corsica Drones. So, one year. So it's just about a year now that I bought this ago. I bought it on release week. So I just wanted to tell you what my overall impressions are after a year of owning it. So this was a strange drone for me. When I got it, I initially loved it. I fell out of love with it. For various reasons. One main reason being the range wasn't great on it. And then lately, I've really started to like it again. Price wise, it's just about 750 quid, but you can buy loads of places now sell a reconversion for around five, 550. It varies. Scan was selling them, I don't know if they still are. Um, the DJI, the DJI refurbed ones, and I think Drones Direct have got them in a minute. For that price, it's a really nice drone. 750 probably is edging towards when you put £250 more on buyers, uh, the Mavic 2 Zoom. But really nice drone. So, because I've had it now for, uh, as I say, because I've had it a year, let me tell you what my impressions have been. So, you get annoyed with the fact that it's doing, that it needs updating constantly. And believe it or not, I've just turned it on. I flew it two days ago. I've just turned it on and it's telling me it needs an update. So, if I go into the. There you go. See that? It's going to tell me it needs an update. And it tried to update it a minute ago and failed. That's annoying. It, it's a constant thing. You get used to it though, so, kind of. <laughs> it's not one of these things you're ever going to get used to fully. And other manufacturers now don't have as many updates on their drones, so it puts people off a little bit. But, it's a DJI product, it does exactly what it says in the tin. I know that I can take this out of the box, even if I don't have a software update, and it'll fly perfectly for me. It does every single time. The only thing that I still think this has got an issue with is range. Range isn't great, I never really get more than a kilometre on it. I know it's supposed to do more than that, maybe it's where I'm flying. I've tried it in various different places, and I don't seem to get better range. I used to have a problem with the app crashing, I solved that by coming away from Android and moving to iOS and since then I don't have issues with the app. These definitely seem better, to me anyway, on the iOS and that's because they're writing for one piece of firmware. They're only writing for iOS. When you're doing it for Android, there's so many variations of phone on Android, they all run on slightly separate, different operating systems or they've all got their own front ends on, that it must be difficult for any manufacturer to keep up. So. I think this is definitely better since I went to iOS. Battery time, it's good for about 18 minutes really. Um, depends what you, how you fly it. The biggest thing I love about this drone is it's sports mode. So, you, you've probably seen videos of how well this thing goes in sports mode. It, it just shifts, it's really, really quick. And you can fly it at full speed and get decent video footage really is great for that point of view and I love there's nothing I love more than throwing this thing about because you can actually chuck it about and you know it's going to go you know it's going to back turn you know it's going to do everything right it's not going to try and fall out the sky or drop altitude on turns which you get with some GPS drones the cheaper ones it doesn't do any of that it really does do what it says on the tin this is the one you don't see much about. Everybody goes on about the Mavic Pro, which I do think is better than this, don't get me wrong. And everybody goes on, you see Spark videos, and it seems to be like a little bit of the forgotten brother. Like, many people don't mention it. There were quite a lot of videos when it first came out, but now you don't see so much. And is that because DJI keep releasing new products, and this now is looking a bit dead? But, you've got to remember, this has got A-Pass on it. It's got proper A-Pass. It will plant, it will guide round objects rather than run into them. It's got front and rear sensors, bottom sensors. It's got noisy props. Doesn't bother me in the slightest. The big thing made about this, about how noisy these props are. Once it's in the air, when you're 20, 30 feet up, it's not really making much of a difference anyway. They are noisy. Some drones have noisy props, some don't. It's got noisy props as standard. To me, it's not a big issue. Not at all. Would I recommend buying one of these? Absolutely. I would certainly recommend anybody buying one of these. It's a fantastic beginner's drone as well. You don't need to be have, a, have any flying experience at all to fly this. Watch a couple of videos on YouTube. Watch your auto use your auto take off button if you want. You can't really go wrong. It'll just lift itself into the air to about six foot. Stay there, hover perfectly nicely, and off you go and fly it. The reason I've got to like this again, I've got lots of other drones. So you've probably seen all the drones I've got, and I, I, I've been flying the Alta Libo a lot more recently. So if I want to fly somewhere and I'm not bothered about going long distance, I just want to get some shots and some video footage. This is now what I use more than anything else, to be honest. Because it's tiny, and it's tiny, it's 
compact, I can put it in my car glove box. But the main thing is I know it's going to work every time. I know I'm not going to have returns home issues, I'm not going to have issues with everything else. I own the Para and Afe. Uh, and I, touch wood, have never really had any major issues with it. But every now and then it throws a bit of a wobbler when you're flying it. It, it won't do exactly what it's supposed to be doing, it'll be slow to turn. And because of that sometimes I'm, I'm wary of it. So this is what I'll use if I know I just want to get that shot. If I want to get the video footage. And bear in mind, this is a really nice camera. This is not a terrible camera at all. This is a really good... You're going to see the video footage I'm going to post at the end. Filmed it two days ago down at the Cricket Club where I've been flying recently. Uh, and you'll see there was also a Phantom in the air at the same time. And you'll see what the Phantom looks like quite close up. Because I get quite close to it. The Phantom was my brother's, by the way. It wasn't some random person that I tried to fly into. And you'll see the video footage looks great. So, all in all, I would recommend this. Maybe more so now than actually when it came out. You, if you've not owned a DJI product before, you might get annoyed about the fact it's going to update. So what I tend to do is just try it before I go out. So I'll make sure I turn it on, make sure it's not needs an update before I go out with it. It's a bit annoying having to do that. But remember, you can fly it without updating. No one's saying you can't. It's going to fly exactly as it did the flight before. So it's not going to cause you an issue. It's just the fact it's going to come up on your screen, but you can bypass that and still fly the drone. Whether DJI would like that, if you haven't done that and you try to put a claim in, I don't know. But, touch wood, I haven't had to do that yet. So, like I say, it's a nice drone. I, I like it. As I say, when it first came out, I absolutely loved the thing, because it was all feature ridden stuff. I don't use a lot of the features this can do. What I can tell you is Active Track works particularly well on this. I think so anyway. Uh, the Follow Me mode or whatever you care to call it on the Anafi also works well. But I think I prefer the Active Track on this. It's every single one, every single drone I've flown, and I've, you'll have seen my channel, I've got flown a lot of stuff. I haven't had one of them yet that's got perfect Follow Me or perfect Active Track. They're always going to lose you at some point. It's not a reason for me to buy a drone, but this thing's got a lot of features. The obstacle avoidance, the air pass, and the, fan and the way this thing is going to fly every time are the main reasons to buy this drone. And of course the camera's fantastic. Thanks very much for watching, you've been great. I'll leave you the video footage of it flying the other day, and you make up your own mind. Have a great weekend.